It's a one bedroom. You have a kitchen, dining area, a beautiful salon to have guests over. So and ask the price for this room for one night. It is a $3,000 Canadian. It's amazing. <laughs> Today I have a special treat for you. We will have a very special tour of the Chateau Frontenac Hotel, a Fairmount hotel that is celebrating its 125th anniversary this year, 2018. The Chateau Frontenac is located on the shores of the St. Lawrence River and is within the fortified walls of Old Quebec City, a designated UNESCO World Heritage Site. The hotel has 611 guest rooms and suites, all with an elegant touch of historic Europe. The Chateau Frontenac is generally recognized as the most photographed hotel in the world. It opened its doors in 1893 by William Van Horn, general manager of the Canadian Pacific Railway, and has had very great guests such as Queen Elizabeth, Princess Grace of Monaco, Charles de Gaulle, Alfred Hitchcock, and many important political people during the Second World War. I want to say a very big thank you to Frank Quella, the head engineer of the Frontenac Hotel, for giving us this magnificent tour. First, we are taking a look at the rose gold section for corporate and leisure guests. With Here we are in the gold section of the hotel, which is reserved for gold members who have access to the lounge we just saw. And this is one of the small gold rooms. <laughs> red rum, red rum. <laughs> So this is the smallest room. <laughs> so you said this is the Van Horn room. Wow. And how many bedrooms are here? One bedroom. One bedroom. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh yes, of course you have a Celine Dion room. <laughs> and who are famous people who have stayed in this room, do you know? Celine Dion. Celine Dion, this one? She didn't stay in her own room? Um, not because it was different. There is two bedrooms in the Celine Dion room. Oh, okay. Here there's only one. I think this is way bigger than my place. So this is one of the top rooms, the Van Horn room. It's a one bedroom. You have a kitchen, dining area, a beautiful salon to have guests over. So and ask the price for this room for one night. It is a $3,000 Canadian. It's amazing. Make sure to stop by at the 1608 Wine and Cheese Bar for a drink or have a bite to eat at the Bistro Le Sam. <laughs> and finally, the Champlain Restaurant, a classic landmark restaurant that has been reinvented, featuring cutting edge regional cuisine created by one of Quebec's hottest chefs. And let me tell you, there is quite the impressive wine collection here as well. Look at that. The ceiling sculpture represents the depth of the St. Lawrence River. And here we are in the cheese room. Can you imagine? Don't leave me here overnight.
Yes, we are still in the Champlain restaurant. It just goes on room to room to room. And you find some surprises. A real jackalope, the real deal. You'll only find them in Quebec. <laughs> what a gorgeous room for a private dinner party. And we were just at the end of the buffet with sushi, meats, incredible dessert selections, a little breakfast area, and yes, even a candy buffet. We're going into the kitchen. We're in the kitchen. So this is just the cleaning dishes area? Yeah. And serving? Just this floor? Yeah, just for the um, shop. Wow. Is that the chef? The chef? <laughs> Small pantry, just a tiny pantry. <laughs> is called the Rose Room because this is where all the important wives of the uh, diplomatic men that came to work and sign contracts, they just threw the wives here to entertain themselves in the meantime. Make sure to check out the hotel spa, the pool area with a pool drinking bar, some lovely terraces here and there with some just amazing views of the city and the St. Lawrence River. And of course, a very complete gym facility. Once again, like where the artist district of, of where like most of the artists stayed when they put and lived in communities. So you have a thriving of a lot of different immigrants and things that live down here down below. Here we are having the Quebec cheese platter with their fabulous signature gin tonic with Ungava gin. And I'm having it with my lovely new friend Helen from Hi. Nashville. Hi. <laughs> That really was quite the gin tonic. I really enjoyed it. And after you've done your tour of the lower city, make sure to take the funicular right back up, which will drop you right on the terrace in front of the Chateau Frontenac. It is a must see when you are in Quebec City.